Okay, rolling. Oh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds, or is it six? <laughs> For a dragon's age. We now have 12,000 treasure, or is it 14,000? <laughs> what about this Ganasty Ganort character? Now, I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple! He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he is ugly. That does it! Looks like I've got some things to do. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world. Then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch him! Keep your horns on, Spyro! You have much to learn first! Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Um... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you! Keep an eye on him, and see what I mean! Hey Spyro, press the jump button twice to glide, and, and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks, plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that.
Cool Flash, do that again. The artisan's boss is through a portal in the Dragon Mouth, but you are not yet ready, Spyro. First, you must complete one of the other artisan lands. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. After you freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya. My friend, how about a hint on gliding? You bet! For the longest glide, press the X button at the top of a jump, and try pressing the triangle button to drop down in mid-flight.
Watch the dragonfly, Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Uh, sure. Oh, it's you. I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Of course, they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. Metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. Zoom in and look around. Oh, your secret's safe with me. Hey! <laughs> 
Big enemies like this Gnork with the club cannot be charged. But a quick flame, that should defeat them. Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the L2 and R2 buttons to get a good look. Thanks, Spyro. <laughs> I had the worst itch on the tip of my wing. <laughs> Did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing X at the very top of your jump? for releasing me. <laughs> Spyro, did you see a man dressed in blue running around here? He's a thief and he's stolen a dragon egg. You've got to track him down and, and get that egg. Run, run. <laughs> I'm getting a little winded.
nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring him on. I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. This boss has many tricks up his sleeve.
Welcome to Peacekeeper, Spyro. Look how our treasure has been turned against us and stolen. Recover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure. Got it. Hey Spyro! Sparks the Dragonfly has been doing a good job protecting you. Make sure to keep him strong by feeding him lots of butterflies. Well done, Spyro! Keep up the good work and I know you'll fulfill your destiny! Destiny? I just want to kick some- Just toast those enemies and collect the treasure!
Thank you for releasing me. Dry Canyon rewards good gliders. You are a good glider, eh, Spyro? I was born to glide. Incredible glide, Spyro. I thought I'd be stuck here forever with those ugly vultures standing on my head. Those birds might look tough, but they're pretty tasty. Flame broiled with a pinch of salt. That you, Spyro? Are you the young dragon I've been hearing so much about? Ever since you're a wee puff of smoke, we've known, uh... You've known? Ah, I forget.
dragon supposed to flame metal armor anyway remember spyro flame won't harm metal but charging with your horns that should do the trick side of that river. Why don't you glide there and find out? reach the highest point in Clifftown. You can get to almost anywhere from here. If I were you, I'd use that whirlwind there.
word of caution, little one. Wait until you grow big, <laughs> like me, before charging those large enemies. up ahead are wearing armor, and in the ice cave, armor can make their feet very slippery. Hmm. Thank you for releasing me. Thank you for releasing me!
You've done well, Spyro. Some dragons thought you weren't ready, but I knew they were wrong. I'm ready, all right. Ready for what? He's so cool. You don't know what it's been like listening to him over and over. But I'll tell you one thing. He 
should watch his back.
Welcome to Magic Crafters. I want you to release the dragons, reclaim our treasure, and recover the eggs from those pesky blue thieves. When you see arrows like these, you can charge along with them to begin a supercharge. Supercharge? Excellent. Go ahead, try it. This portal leads to a special place where you can learn to fly. I remember when I was a young dragon earning my wings. Learn to fly. Got it.
Pyro, you're not afraid of those big, noisy, gigantic, awful beasts, are you? Of course not. I didn't think so. Oh, thank you for releasing me. Great work, Spyro. If you keep this up, you'll learn all the tricks of the Magic Crafter world. Remember that these blue thieves haven't stolen eggs only in the Magic Crafter world. Don't worry, I'll take care of them.
please do something about these green druids? They insist on moving everything in sight! I hate those bugs! When I become big and strong, like you, I'll squash them all! Until then, remember that Supercharge makes you invincible. Try combining supercharge with jumping and gliding, and really explore the high caves.
Welcome to Wizard Peaks. This is my favorite supercharged spot. Use it to bash those wizards. Thank you for releasing me! Listen carefully, Spyro. There's a secret area in the Artisan Home. It is at the waterfall. Try jumping on the stones there. Artisan Home? Waterfall? Sounds good!
Thanks for releasing me, Spyro. You have no idea how long I've been trapped in crystal. And, uh, neither do I. Who are you again? Um, I'm out of here.
Nasty Nork is turning our swamp into an electrified junk heap. And it used to be so beautiful. I'm sure it was. Spyro, it's great to see you, but I've got to go.
Watch out, Spyro. The Norks in these parts have discovered the power of electricity, and it really stings. Good job, Spyro. One day you'll be able to tell all the dragons about your amazing adventures. Sure, but what I'd really like to do is get out of this swamp.
Be on the lookout for attack frogs. They are cold-blooded killers. Attack frogs? And this used to be such a nice swamp. Thanks for releasing me. It seems like I've been trapped in here since I was your age. Oh, no. Why, I remember... Uh, gotta go! Thank you for releasing me.
I'll tell you what to do with those creatures. Smash them, Spyro! Stamp them out and squish them and squash them! <laughs> uh, huh. How about charge them and flame them? We are dragons, after all. That was quite a ride, Spyro. You've learned a lot since you were a young glider. Yeah, well you could have found an easier spot to get stuck. Greetings, Spyro. For an amazing tour of the treetops, don't just stop at one supercharge. <sighs>
Spyro. If you jump at the end of a supercharge ramp, you can really go far. I'm all over it.
this big robot is all charged up to meet you. Attacking the power pole should disrupt its power supply.
the fools you see in this world are invincible, but that does not mean they shouldn't be attacked. Sounds all right to me. Welcome to the Dreamweavers, young one. While chasing Nasty's minions in this world, you must expect the unexpected and prepare for what is not there. Spyro, nicely done. I'll be done when I've toasted that nasty Nork.
The enemies here can be quite frightening, but you should watch the fools. I'd rather flame the fools. Now you're thinking. Thank you for releasing me. Dragon to defeat Nasty Nork! That's me, all right. Spyro. I'd love to help you catch Nasty, but I'd really hate being trapped in Crystal again. Don't worry. The only one who's gonna be trapped is him.
Thank you for releasing me. Fairies are always on your side, Spyro.
Thank you for releasing me! Ah, Spyro, thanks. Supercharge will get you to new places here in Lofty Castle, too. See where it takes you.
Spyro. All dragons know there's magic in a fairy's kiss. See what it can do to your power of flame. your horns! Here comes Spyro! Patience, little one. You'll soon have the opportunity to battle the one who matters most. Nasty Nork. Master of the Supercharge! Great work!
Thank you for releasing me! Any advice before this battle? Advice? Hmm. A wise dragon once told me, aim high in life, but watch out for flying boxes. Uh huh?
Didn't I already free you? You're in Nasty's world now, Spyro. And you are the dragon who must defeat him. Bring him on! I'm ready! Reach the exit in each of Nasty's lands. Then you can challenge the Nork himself. Keep up the good work, Spyro. I expect Nasty's really starting to worry about you. I'd be shaking in my Nork boots if I were him.
Wow, I never thought I'd be rescued, especially by such a little dragon. Uh, well, what I mean is, I always believed in you, Spyro. You gotta believe. <laughs> Thank you for releasing me.
Be on the lookout for Nort Commandos, Spyro. They better be on the lookout for me.
Sorry I took so long. I kind of forgot about you. What about Ganasty Ganork? Nasty Nork? His toast! So now there's order again in the Dragon Kingdom? Well, mostly. I've still got some treasure to pick up. What will you do next? I'd say the sky's the limit. Nasty's ancient history now. So, what's in there? I believe this is Nasty's treasure hoard. But the gate will not open until you have found everything in the Dragon Kingdom. Come back when you have reached 100%.
Spyro the Dragon. You've defeated Ganasty Ganork, collected the dragon eggs, saved all the dragons, and recovered every bit of treasure in the Dragon Kingdom. How do you feel? I feel fired up, Bob. And I'm happy for the dragon world, of course. I certainly wouldn't want to spend the rest of my dragon days butting heads with Nasty Nork and his weird minions. What's a minion? Uh, never mind. You know what they say. For every good battle, you need a good adversary. And I felt that Nasty, in spite of his misguided nature, was a worthy opponent. Uh-oh. Here we go again! Ever gonna stop? I've forgotten what the sun looks like. We should go on vacation. Somewhere warm. Somewhere sunny. Dragon Shores! Yeah! I haven't been there since we kicked Nasty Nork's butt. How about it, Sparks? You up for a vacation at the beach? Last one there is a Nork! Just a few more adjustments to these orbs and... 
Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Bringing a dragon here could just make Ripto angrier. Calm down, Hunter, and stop fidgeting. But you saw the professor's book. They have claws like this, teeth like this, and they spit fire like this. Poo, poo. They sound much more dangerous than Ripto. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto, and you know it. It's working. It's working! I've got a dragon! Whoa, rough landing. Hi, which way's the... beach? Hey, stop staring. Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? You got a problem with that pussycat? <laughs> Someone forgot to invite me to the party. Were you trying to keep something from me? A dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? I hate dragons! Yeah! Ow! Crush! Kill it! Kill it! Ripto and see what he's up to. I'll meet you in Summer Forest, okay? Hey, wait a minute! Uh, how do we get ourselves into these messes, pal? Hi, Spyro! Welcome to Glimmer! Unfortunately for us, a mob of lizards just showed up and started stealing all of our gems. Can you stop them? like this. That zap means that if you get into trouble, I'll return you to this place. See you around. We gem cutters are a bit too short to climb these ladders. Looks like you are too. After you learn to climb, come back to Glimmer to see me.
Ah, you must be the dragon everyone is talking about. Well, dragon or not, I'm afraid there is a small fee to open the bridge. It will cost you 100 of your gems to cross. Thank you, Mr. Dragon. Spyro, was it? You can now use the bridge whenever you want, free of charge. I hope we meet again, when you have even more gems. To get a good look around, hold down the triangle button. Try using triangle to look around this cave. Spyro, thanks for helping us fight off the lizards. Please take this talisman of glimmer as a sign of our gratitude. This magic portal next to me will take you to Summer Forest, one of the homeworlds of Avalar. gem lamps flame all the lamps quickly and the big gem lamp will light the power-up will give you enough magic to fly for a short time for helping me light the lamp spiral. A fairy gave me this orb, but I like gems better. You take it instead. have eaten my entire crop of gems. I've tried hitting them with rocks, but they're too fast for me. You can try using one of my rocks. If you have any questions, just ask me. <laughs> nice shooting. Follow me to the next lizard. Spyro, see if you can spit all the way to that lizard. <laughs> to hit that lizard up high, you'll have
have to aim. Press and hold the triangle button to aim. Then press circle to spit. My crop of gems from the lizards. Here, take this orb. Some girl with wings dropped it here yesterday. to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Uh, hi, I'm Spyro. What are you, some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, sorry. Did you meet the gym cutters in Glimmer? Yeah, they gave me a souvenir too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What, is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. There are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. <laughs> Hunter, where have you been? I, uh, got a little lost. Spyro's going to help us collect the talismans. I am? He is. Spyro, look. There's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's Worlds and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talismans? If you come across any orbs, they're important too. But I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. homeworld called Summer Forest. There are portals to many of the Avalar worlds around here. Unfortunately, Ripto has taken over the castle, and we need your help. Start by retrieving the talismans from each of the worlds you go to. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Hiya, Spyro! Ripto smashed this bridge, so I guess you'll have to glide across it. Press X to jump, then press X again while you're still in the air to glide. <laughs> Uh, uh, sorry, Spyro. I'd love to teach you how to swim underwater, but not as much as I'd love to take your treasure. Hi, Spyro. You look like you're pretty agile. Let's try putting it to a test. See if you can get up this first step. Press X and hold it down to get more hang time. <laughs> Okay, not bad. Now to make this next jump, you'll have to glide. Press X to jump, then press X again at the top of your jump to get the maximum glide distance. <laughs> Nice job! Now try to do a hover. Press X to jump, then press X again to glide. Then when you reach the end of your glide, press triangle to hover. Hovering will give you extra height and distance. <laughs> Very good! Now for the hardest leap of all. You'll have to give this one everything you've got. Get a walking start, jump, glide, and hover just before you get to the edge of the platform. Don't forget to press forward on the D-pad or analog stick when you hover. <laughs> Wow, you're a pretty good athlete. If I hadn't lost my running shoes, I'd take you on for real. For now, here's an orb for your collection. Spyro, the idols we were carving have come to life! They've locked us out of our temples and stolen our food!
General, you're pretty tough. If you ever want a permanent job, we've got a place for you here. For the moment, I want you to have this talisman. <laughs> girl's rain dance blew up that idol like a Roman candle. Now I can pursue that dancing career I've dreamed of. Take this orb. It could help you go places. <laughs> Hello there, Spyro. Would you like to learn to swim underwater? I suppose I could teach you for uh, a small fee. Great. Okay, when you jump in the water, you can use the D-pad to move around the surface. Use square to dive underwater. When you are underwater, use X to paddle and square to charge. <laughs>
tools and the giant idol heads won't let the workers in unless we can solve the three puzzles they've given us. The first puzzle is to turn all these blocks yellow. If you have trouble, come back and talk to me. Oh, Spyro, you did it! I mean, I knew you could do it. Now, meet me at the pond for the next challenge. <laughs> this idol says he's hungry and won't be satisfied until he swallowed ten fish. He's got a sensitive stomach, so watch what kind of fish you feed him. Okay, Spyro, just one more puzzle to go. I'll meet you over by the College Stones for your final challenge. If you jump on these stones in the correct order, you will solve the puzzle. I only know what the first one is. It's up to you to figure the rest out. Nice job, Spyro. You're pretty smart for a dragon. All I have to give you is this shiny thing I found in our toolbox. Sparks, the dragonfly following you around is your health indicator, Spyro. The brighter he is, the more hit points you have.
Yeti has been rampaging around our home, but we've managed to trap him by shutting all the doors. If you talk to the other brothers, they will open the gates and guide you to him. By concentrating, I should be able to open this door for you. a key when you know how to chant like this. Enemies like those yaks are too big to be charged. Your flame attack should easily take care of large enemies. Time you defeat an enemy, it will release a spirit particle. The spirit particles will activate the power up in that world. If a power up is inactive, you need to defeat more enemies. What I can do! Remember Hunter's advice? You will glide farthest if you press the X button at the very top of your jump. Even though I'm a vegetarian, I think you should kill that yeti. He's pretty tough though. In fact, I'm not so sure you're up to it. I thought the yeti was tougher than that. I guess he was all bark. <laughs> anyway, I was just guarding our sacred talisman to make sure the Yeti didn't eat it. Oh, thank goodness you scared that evil spirit away. But now it will hide in the statues. If you were to flame all ten statues, I'm sure you would chase it away for good.
Well done, Spyro! You've scared the evil spirit away! Why don't you take this? I borrowed it from the temple. Yeah, they don't need it. Welcome! We have found that hockey is a peaceful and calming sport. Would you like to join in a match against our goalkeeper? You have two minutes to score five goals in the red goal. Try a game of one on one. The first to score five goals wins. You are shooting at the red goal. Off you go.
Well done! Have this! If you stare at it long enough, you might not see anything. Well on your way, Spyro. Keep collecting talismans to help us defeat Ripto before he can take over Avalar. Oh, and keep collecting those orbs, too. The professor thinks they will help you get back to the Dragon World. I saw something shiny at the top of this wall. You could probably get it, but you'll have to learn how to climb first. Your game camera is currently in passive mode. This mode requires you to control the camera yourself and moves more slowly. If you like, I can change the game camera to use active mode. In active mode, the camera moves much faster. Okay, I won't change it. Remember, you can change the camera mode yourself by using the options menu. We've always had trouble with the gear grinders, but now they've set up force fields to separate us. If you can find diodes, you can use them to turn off the force fields. I think there's a diode around here somewhere, but my eyesight isn't what it used to be. 
Grinder thieves keep taking our lightning stones. If you can replace them all and activate our generator, I'd be very grateful.
Thank you, Spyro. I found this shiny thing mixed up with our lightning stones. Please, take it as a reward. You Spyro, you've deactivated all of the electric barriers. We've been guarding this talisman from the gear grinders. Please take it as a reward.
Spyro, do you see that big building over there? The gear grinders are using it to steal our electricity. Please help us by shutting down the machinery inside. Spyro, you've done well so far. You can have this little trinket for good luck. If you have any questions about shutting down the factory, just ask me. The next glides get tricky. You'll have to use your hover maneuver to make them. Press the triangle button during a glide to hover and get extra height. Remember to press triangle when you are very close to the windmill, or you won't make it! Spyro, help! The switch to turn off the gear grinder factory is in that room, but, um, it's awfully noisy in there. <laughs> Thanks for shutting down the factory. Here, I found this stuck between the gears. You can have it if you want. Spyro, it's a good thing you're here. If you can help shepherd those baby turtles over there to safety, I'll be mighty grateful.
The water workers have boxed up most of our baby turtles. The boxes are incredibly strong. With a more powerful flame breath, maybe you could break them open and release the turtles. There's a chef at the top of this ladder who wants to make soup out of our baby turtles. If you know how to climb, you could get up there and stop him. Thank you, young dragon. The baby turtles will be safe up here. Please take this talisman as a token of our gratitude. Most impressive. Please take this sacred, uh, thingamajig as a token of our everlasting gratitude.
Say, Spyro, you see this wall here? I bet you're dying to know what's on the other side. If only I had a few more gems, I might be able to remember how to lower the wall. Hmm, yes, the sparkling beauty of those gems seems to have jarred my memory. Spyro, this talisman door will only open if you have all six Summer Forest talismans. Once the door is open, Ripto and Crush will be waiting in the dungeon. The funny looking guys with the shock sticks have drained all our water. We can't get it back unless someone activates the switches they're guarding. Hi, Spyro. You must be tougher than you look to get here. All the same, you won't be able to get past the metal sharks up ahead. I suppose I could let you borrow my submarine, though. For a modest fee, of course. A pleasure doing business with you, Spyro. This submarine is 100% shark-proof. I guarantee it.
Our world is wet again. We all want you to have this talisman of Aquaria Towers to remember us by. I've been trying to tame my new pet manta ray, but he just won't obey me. Hey, you're just about the right size to ride on his back! Great! Hop on his back and guide him through each of the rings of bubbles as it appears. And remember, he's brand new, so try not to get him dented or scratched up.
Well done! I suppose I owe you something for that. Here, take this orb. I found it in one of my flippers. Now that the manta ray's tamed, I'd love to get him into racing shape. Care to take him through a harder course? Okay, good luck! You've got real talent. I could use a partner like you. You can have the orb I found in my other flipper, too. The water workers have kidnapped six of my children and hidden them in the tops of these numbered towers. I borrowed some explosives to blast the doors off the towers. If you can make it to the top of the six numbered towers, my children will be safe. You did it! Now we can swim in peace. I heard that you were collecting these orbs. Please take this one.
Well done, Spyro. Now that you have six talismans, this door will open. Okay, Spyro, jump through that hole in the floor to get down to Crush's dungeon. I'll help you by tossing sheep through the hole if I can catch them. Good luck! Nice work, Spyro. The orbs you're carrying have activated this special portal. You won't find a talisman in the ocean speedway, but if you're fast, you'll get lots of treasure. Have fun! I guess now you think I'm pretty good. Well, let's see if you're as good as the current champion. All right, Spyro, meet the course champion. In order to win the race, you must fly through all the rings. Beware if Hunter flies through a ring first. The ring will start to shrink. Great job, Spyro. That was some excellent flying.
Well done, Spyro. Now that you have six talismans, this door will open. Okay, Spyro, jump through that hole in the floor to get down to Crush's dungeon. I'll help you by tossing sheep through the hole if I can catch them. Good luck! Before you get to the castle dungeon, Spyro, I thought that you might want to know how Ripto and his monsters arrived in Avalar. You see, last week in the Winter Tundra, the Professor was working on some new super portal technology. There. That's the last orb in place. Now let's see. All we need are some coordinates. Yeah, how about 22475? <laughs> That's my birthday. No, Hunter, don't! What? Get off! Get off me, you useless buffoons! Why can't either of you? Where are we? Hmm. No dragons. Wonderful. Crush! Go back and pack my bags! We're moving in! Say hello to your new king. Professor, shut it down! Hurry! Oh my, oh my! I can't see the switch! I think I've broken my glasses! Crush, go through the portal, you idiot! To all your friends to take the orbs and scatter them throughout Avalar, quickly! No! Go! Crush, get the orbs now! You despicable little creature! I'll kill you! This is bad news for Avalar. Hunter, why didn't you chase him? Uh, yeah, I uh, would have gone after him. But didn't he say something about not liking dragons? Professor, could we catch a dragon to help us? Yes, yes, I think so. We'll need a world that has an alignment much better suited to intercepting one of these creatures. How about Glimmer? Good idea. We better go right now.
Now, Crush! You may have been able to defeat that simpleton, but Gulp will be more than a match for you. Bring it on, Shorty! Gulp, come here now! Destroy him, and make sure it's painful! What? The roof? Gulp, get me out of here! So long, dragon! What a wuss! Crypto has caused enough damage. All his meddling has cost me a fortune. If it wasn't for Spyro, I'd be bankrupt. If Ripto were here, I'd give him a piece of my mind. In fact, I'd give him a lot more than that. I was a champion bantamweight boxer at university, and I still know a few moves. Take that, and that. Boo. Why you, you? Well done, Spyro! The power from your orbs has activated the whirlwind! Legend has it that there is a portal to Zephyr here. And legend also has it that I know how to activate it. Furthermore, as I recall, the legend mentioned something about me activating it for uh, a small fee. Thanks for the gem, Spyro. With all this cash, I can open a lizard burger shop in Skilo's Badlands. Yeah. <laughs> A rich dragon like you wouldn't mind cashing in a few gems to learn how to climb. I'd be willing to teach you for, say, I don't know, a small fee? You won't regret it. Okay, when you see a wall surface that looks climbable, like the one to my left here, just jump onto it and you will grab it with your claws. Use the D-pad to move up and down and press jump again to get off. You can also jump sideways onto another climbable area.
Oh, uh, Spyro, hello. I was just having trouble with this door, and I think some orb power might unstick it. I see you've collected a good number of orbs there. I can let you into the little castle over there in exchange for a few gems. What do you say? No one's been through that portal in years. I thought I'd never find a sucker. Uh, I mean, you're a shrewd customer, Spyro. <laughs> I would love to let you enter this speedway free of charge, Spyro. Love to. Unfortunately, the speedway rules require me to charge a small fee. You've chosen wisely. I bet a quick dragon like you will win your money back in no time. <laughs> Hi, Spyro. Ripto and Gulp are hiding out in a room in the castle below us. You'll need all 14 talismans in order to break the lock and get to them.
Great! You've got the Superfly power-up active. Now you can light the gem lamps in this cave. for helping me light the lamp, Spyro. For a while, I was afraid we were going to have to cancel tonight's baseball game. Here, somebody mix this orb in with the baseballs. There's something shiny at the top of this wall. Maybe you could climb up and get it. Hello, young one. There's a chef up at the top of this ladder who wants to make soup out of our turtles. Maybe you could climb up there and stop him. Your turtle friends happen to make a very good soup, if I can catch them. You can try to say them if you like, but I'm feeling awfully hungry. So, you saved a few turtles. There are more where those came from. Here, take this orb and go away. If you step a little closer to the pot, I'll start ringing my bell again.
nuts! You save every turtle on the beach. Here, take this. I was going to use it to buy potatoes, but now I don't need it. Dragon, I hear you're pretty tough. I bet my cousin Glug you wouldn't be able to make it through Badlands without getting singed. <laughs> Spyro, our village is being overrun by lava lizards. Can't you get rid of them before they eat my little buddies? I'll lower the bridge for you so you can get over there. Done, Grasshopper. Take this shiny, uh, thing we found to aid your journey. <laughs> Uh-oh. It looks like more lizard eggs are dropping down. Are you ready for another challenge? <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
Thank you for helping us again, Spyro. You deserve another shiny thing. I was going to use it as a nightlight. I'm so sad. Those pesky lava totes have stolen all my friend's bones. If you help me put him back together again, he'd sure be more fun. Excellent! You made it through the Badlands! I knew I'd win that bet. My cousin Gronk is a fool to bet against a dragon. Take this talisman for helping me out. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you, Spyro. Now I can put my friend back together. Please, take this as a token of my appreciation. A fairy left it with me a little while ago. The Ice Wizards have imprisoned our leader, Shaman Tuck. Can you help us rescue him? It is urgent. He has our tickets to tonight's hockey game in Colossus Valley. If you get on the catapult, we'll help you across the chasm.
We'll help you climb this wall up ahead. Spyro, I could arrange for you to cross this bridge for <clears throat> a small fee. Thank you, Spyro. Now I can buy that condo in Huracost that I've been wanting for so long. Go ahead across the bridge. Just hold tight for a second, and look out below! Ow! You think those guys could have got me out of here without rolling a two-ton snowball onto my head? Here, take this crystal. I traded some hockey tickets for it. lost my pet snow leopard. I was busy fishing and when I turned around, he was gone. I hope George didn't get eaten by the draclets.
You found George. I'm so glad he's safe. I'll be sure to pay more attention to him from now on. All I have with me is this round shiny thing I caught while I was fishing. You can have it if you like. We used to give guided tours of these caves, but now they are infested with multiplying draclets. It's only a matter of time before they take over our whole village. Do you think you can get rid of them for us? Great! But remember, you have to catch them all quickly, because if any are left alive, they will continue to multiply. saved us all from a grisly fate. Please, accept this orb as a small token of our thanks.
please excuse our mess, Spyro. We are currently suffering from a land blubber infestation. First they put out the fires on our boilers, and now they've shut down our ship, too! If you could stoke up the fires under the boilers, I'm sure you could make your way to the ship. The steam from the boilers will activate our highly advanced machines. Those land blubbers have littered these metal spike mines all over the harbor. If you can clear them out, I'll give you this orb I found in a clam yesterday.
Thanks for getting our ship fired up, Spyro. Now we can proceed with our counterattack on Zephyr. Please take this talisman as a token of our gratitude. How lucky for me that you came along. My machinery is broken, and the gears I need to repair it are scattered all over the tracks. Could you hop on that trolley up there and get them? That was great work, Spyro. Now I can start fixing my machines. Here, I don't have room in my toolbox for this thing anymore. Thanks, Spyro. Here's that orb I promised. Sorry if it still has clam juice on it.
Okay, Spyro. Looks like we got us a bit of a situation here. The Breeze Builders have got us pinned down, and we've been waiting for a volunteer to blow up their munitions building. Looks like you're it! Dang cannon just ain't working for me. Do you think you can blast that bird, soldier? Jump up here and give it a try! Explosion. It sure is a good thing I had my helmet on. Oh, yeah, uh, the colonel wanted me to give this talisman to you if you got through the breeze builder defenses. Good job, soldier. <laughs> And I have lost my cowlicks. With these battles going on all the time, they keep running away. Can you help me get them back into my pen?
right from yonder window breaks. That window up there, dummy. The professor said he was working on a way to help me get back with Juliet, but I haven't seen him in a long time. Spyro, my boy, I've got a magic bean, uh, I mean seed, for you in here somewhere. Uh, here it is. Why don't you plant it in the ground and see what grows? Aiming the seed by holding down the triangle button will make this easier. Oh, and if you ever need your seed back, just flame the plant and it will turn back into a seed again. Here are two more seeds to get you the rest of the way. Though, and take this with you if you don't mind. It's been cluttering up my pockets. <laughs> Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Oh, there's Romeo. You can have this. I don't need it anymore.
Thanks, Spyro. Here's a little something, you know, for the effort. There are two more cowlicks out there somewhere, but I haven't seen them in days. for me. Here's a fair reward.
My brother Handel and I have been sent here to blow up this castle. But Handel got caught by these evil soldiers, and I'm stuck out here. If you can open the doors that block the way, I can find Handel, and we can complete our super-secret spy mission. monkeys have escaped from the Avalar Zoo, and I've been sent here to catch them. But they keep throwing coconuts at me, and it hurts. Can you help me out? Great! Just charge the tree before I get hit. I'll be able to catch the monkeys as they fall. Follow me. Thanks for your help, Spyro. Please, take this. One of the monkeys had it.
a great secret agent. Now Handel and I can complete our mission. By the way, you can have this talisman. I stole it when the soldiers weren't looking. <laughs> We need those flags to prove our secret mission was successful. But the flag keeper keeps stealing them. If you could knock the flag keeper down, you could bring the flags back. My secret decoder ring says that this power up thing should help you. Want that flag, eh, dragon? Well, two can play at this bombing game. Let's go. Still two flags out there. After my flags, dragon? Get my last flag so easily, purple beast. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
job, Agent Spyro. How can we repay you for your efforts? How about this orb that I found in the sand? Mr. Dragon. Hmm, you're pretty cute for a quadruped. I wish I could take you on a tour of our temple, but a bunch of lousy earth shapers have encased it in stone. Thank you for releasing me. There are still some sages trapped in stone. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's great to be free. Now there is only one satyr left to rescue. <laughs> Now that you have rescued all the satyrs in Fracture Hills, you ought to go into the temple. <laughs> Hi, Dragon Boy. You're probably expecting me to be all like, You're my hero. Thanks for saving poor, helpless little me. Blah, blah, blah. Sorry, short stuff. I was only in here because I like the peace and quiet. Anyway, um, the other fawns wanted me to give you this talisman. <laughs> Spyro, I suppose you're here for the party. I'm afraid it's been cancelled because the stupid Earth Shaper set off the volcano.
Hey, Spyro, check out this cool cave I found. <laughs> Let's play a little game. Every so often, a piece of this crystal popcorn pops out of the ground. The first one to grab ten of them wins. I'm ready when you are. Okay, you win. Here's an orb. I'll give you another orb if you can beat me again. Let's play to 15 this time. What do you say? I'm ready when you are. You're really good. I'm going to have to come up with some harder games. For now, take this orb. I guess you earned it. Well, if it isn't my best customer, the elevator in the next room can take you to the volcano. You can have unlimited use of the elevator for a one-time fee of only a few gems.
It's a pleasure doing business with you. Simply step on the elevator and it will take you to the bottom. When you want to come back up, just step on it again. Thanks for closing the lid on the volcano, Spyro. Things were getting a little too hot around here. By the way, here's a talisman I was saving for the party later. I think you deserve it more. You're just in time for the party. Well, you would be if those nasty lava monsters hadn't stolen our hats. It just won't be the same without party hats. Spyro, you saved the party. Here, this got mixed in with the cheese balls and I almost chipped a tooth on it.
Spyro, it's a good thing you're here. I've been trying to get a berry out of this magic berry bush, but I'm just not strong enough. If you charge or flame the bush, one of those yummy berries should drop. Thanks for helping me reach the Great Berry Bush. Now we can eat berries all the time. Here, take this. It's a gift from all of us hippos. Spyro. Three thieves have stolen our magical brass lamps. Please get the lamps before they take them away from Shady Oasis. Spyro, my brothers have been trapped in solid rock. I'm afraid you'll need to learn some kind of head bash move before you can help us.
Thanks for bringing back the three magic lamps. Here, take this orb. Some fairy left it with me, but it won't hold a proper shine. Well done, Spyro! Now that you have all 14 Talisman, your guidebook can break the lock on the door and you can fight Gulp! Are you ready? Okay, come back whenever you're ready. We've been having a crime problem here in Metro Speedway, but I think you might be able to help. A band of cat burglars have been raiding my re-election funds by scaling the walls of the buildings. Would you be willing to help get rid of them? Ray, The hunter has been able to knock the scoundrels off of the buildings, but we need you to catch the loot before it lands in the canal and is lost. The hunter is waiting for you outside. Good luck!
done. You really taught those cooks a lesson. Well done, Spyro. Job, Spyro. Looks like you're ready for a more serious challenge. How about a little paragliding? You're not afraid of heights, are you? Great! I'll tow you behind my snowmobile and you maneuver through the rings. Don't miss any or we'll have to start over. Spyro, you're even better than I am. Well done, Spyro. Now that you have all 14 talisman, your guidebook can break the lock on the door and you can fight Gulp. Are you ready? You'll have to jump down the hole in the floor to get to where Ripto and Gulp are waiting. I can help you out a little bit. I tamed a few pterodactyls from Skelos Badlands. They'll be dropping objects that you can use to fight Gulp. <laughs> Gulp, we've finally made Avalar ours. 
You've earned a special reward. Go! Oh, what is it, boy? Oh, the fairy. Here you go. You singed my cape. Dragon, you are really starting to get on my nerves! Say goodbye, Flame Breath! Go! Lunch time! Go! Finish him off and you can have all the fairies you can eat. I'm going to enjoy this. Laura, where'd you come from? I was just outside the castle in Autumn Plains. The castle is now free again. There's no sign of Ripto. And since you've been around, the creatures of Avalar are finally starting to get along. Since you've done so much for Avalar, and since I know you've really missed being on vacation, we really wanted to do something nice for you. It's 
not much, but we hope you like it. Wow, this is great. Aren't you going to join me? Uh, no. I'd like to, but I've got to go check on the professor in the winter tundra. He's still trying to fix the super portal so he can send you home. Oh, that sounds interesting. I think I'll just hang out here for a while and soak up a few rays. Hey, where did Laura go? I better follow her. I think I've finally come up with a way to access the Dragon Worlds from the Super Portal. This power crystal should give us the extra boost that we need. Just a few more calculations to set it up. I think I have it. Excellent! Everything is finally ready. We're going to need a lot more orbs, but with the power crystal boosting it, the Super Portal should work again. Well, I'm afraid not. I persuaded that fat bear moneybags to sell me a few bomb. Quick, the power crystal. Don't even try it, book boy, or you'll be the world's smartest pile of ashes. <laughs> this is just what I need for a new scepter. Hunter, do something, quick. Uh, hey, give that back. Well, I tried. <laughs> you little fools! After I destroy you all with my new scepter, I'm going to rename this place Riptonia! Spyro, Ripto's still alive, and he's locked us out of the castle. Even worse, he's stolen our new power crystal for the super portal. If you can collect enough orbs, you'll be able to get the power crystal back from Ripto, and we can send you to Dragon Shores. <laughs> Well, Spyro, it comes down to this. There's only one more thing I can teach you. And like all the best things, it doesn't come cheap. The head bash move is very simple, really. All you must do is jump, then press the triangle button. You'll find the head bash may help you out on some tasks that were impossible before. Remember, just jump, then triangle. Good luck! some consolation that you've collected so many orbs. My high-tech portal here will take you to Cloud Temples.
I can see you've learned the value of orbs, Spyro. This touchy gate should work perfectly with the help of your impressive orb collection. One last speedway adventure for you, Spyro. It's not that expensive, you know. You've chosen wisely. I bet a quick dragon like you will win your money back in no time.
perhaps you can help. My friend is locked in this room and lost the key, and you know how hard it is to find a locksmith at this time of night. Just stand still, he says. I'll turn your boots to gold, he says. Oh, hi, Spyro. You're a sight for sore eyes. I'd appreciate it mightily if you could locate that alchemist. He owes me a favor. I've been experimenting with this potion. I'd like to test it out, but the earth shapers out there have made going out a bit difficult. Could you kindly offer me an escort? Great! Just keep those earth shapers away from me and I'll take this potion to Hunter. My feet feel better. Would you look after this for me? As long as you're here, would you like to help me take out these stubborn earth shapers? All right. When I shoot an earth shaper with an arrow, you head bash him before he gets back up. Remember, head bash by jumping and then press triangle. We have to get all of them at once, or they'll just invite more of their friends. Let's go! We make a great team. Here, I was going to give this to the alchemist, but I'm a bit annoyed at him at the moment.
broke that door down for me, I thought I'd be stuck in here forever. I found this fancy orb in here. Please take it. <laughs> My eight brothers have been trapped in rock and will sink in the lava if you can't break them free. Head bash the rocks by jumping then pressing triangle and follow my lead. Follow me and remember, jump and then press triangle to head bash. Big family. 
family, but you've managed to save all of them. Take this thing, too. I'm too tired to carry it anymore. Things just aren't the same since our magic fountain shut off. It sure would help if you could find out what evil force is behind this disaster.
What? Oh, hmm. I must have dozed off there. Golly, looks like I let the fountain switch off. Here, take this orb and, um, don't mention my little nap to Hydrar, okay? A bunch of rotten thieves have stolen the spark plugs, and I'm stuck here. Please get the four plugs back. in business. Here, young dragon friend, take this. It's museum quality, but you deserve it. Spyro, so glad you're here. I'm perfectly useless without my trusty pencil, and I seem to have lost it. I do have this extra egg. Perhaps you can trade it for my pencil. Mm. 
Now I can begin calculating the age of the universe again. Here, take this orb. Alora says she thinks I'm going to lose it. It's some consolation that you've collected so many orbs. My high-tech portal here will take you to Cloud Temples. I used to be one of Avalar's most powerful magicians, until that big warlock over there stole my wand. He and his friends have used the magic to take over the city.
bell towers have been invaded by trolls. You might be able to help, but you can't beat them without activating this power-up. <laughs> Spyro, you have freed our city from the claws of those evil warlocks. Please, take this orb. I foresee that it will help you on your journey. I'm a secret agent. I'm going to my secret hideout. Only members of my secret club are allowed to go there. I'm not leaving unless you hide behind that tree so you can't see me. <laughs> What? You managed to get here without following me? You must be a member of my secret club after all! Here, take this secret decoder. It will allow us to send secret messages. <laughs> Our mystical bell towers have been overrun by trolls, and the bells haven't been rung in days. I tried a fire spell on the trolls, but it just made them crazier. This super freeze power-up will chill out the trolls, but we really need the bells to ring. They'll ring if you charge into them.
I suppose you want an orb for doing that. Well, I'm afraid not. There's still one bell left. You can get to it by using the whirlwind behind me. Thanks, Spyro. I didn't think you could do it. Here, have a souvenir from the Mystic City gift shop. Spyro, these here pests have infested our farm. Could you find the time to help us get rid of them? Find your way over to the giant bug lamp and turn it on so we can zap any more invading pests.
These darn bugs are making a joke of my expensive robot scarecrows. Can you chase them down and flame them, Spyro? My fields are safe from those flying vermin, Spyro. Take this doodad I done dug up yesterday. Wait a go, Spyro! Them varmints won't be coming near our crops now. Can I offer you a reward? I used to drive my tractor all around the farm, but some fool robot blocked the path up. Do you think you could knock him down with a bit of a supercharge? A fine piece of steering that was, Dragon. Here, take this thingamajig I found in the cow pen.
I can see you've learned the value of orb, Spyro. This touchy gate should work perfectly with the help of your impressive orb collection. No. This insurrection from the farms has got quite out of hand. We need someone to restore order. Find the inventor droid. She's been working on something big. <laughs> With all the budget cuts, these elevators need serious work. See, this one here is stuck. I expect it would start working if you could just give it a good whack, though. As you can see, a vicious ox has taken over our armory. We thought that freezing the walkway would keep animals out. The ox is very tough. I advise using the bombs against it, and it'll probably take several bombs at that. Excellent work, Dragon. We can now defend our city properly. Take this visually pleasing reward.
Zero. I heard you were coming. Thank you for your efforts in thwarting this attempted coup. Please take this item, which living creatures seem to like. It's a first for Avalar, a combination power-up. Thank goodness you're here to test it out. These invading sheep in their spaceships must be stopped. Excellent work. You knocked those sheep right out of the sky. This orb device is proof of your skill. I knew it. Those first sheep sent out a distress call. The next wave of saucers is incoming. Nice flying, Airman. You've proven the genius of my double power-up invention. Here, keep this to commemorate your victory.
All right, Spyro. Are you ready to try out my plane? I just fixed it, and I'm pretty sure it won't crash now. Okay, Spyro, here's what you've got to do. I've got the plane on remote control, so all you have to do is hit the targets with your machine gun. Press circle to fire the gun, and use the D-pad or analog stick to aim. You nailed all of the targets. It must be because you had such a good pilot. Defeat of Ripto is only moments away, right? Right? Well, anyway, good luck. He's right through this door. Hey, Shorty, maybe I can help. What? You again? Yep. If you want to test that power crystal, why don't you try it on me? I'll stand still. I promise. Hmm. I like that idea. Dragon, you've just sealed your fate! Spyro, we want to help you fight Ripto. Elora is using the orbs you collected to store power-up energy. 
Hunter will throw the powered-up orbs to you as they become ready. Even as we speak, the professor is experimenting with new forms of power-up energy, so you'll soon have abilities that no one has ever seen before.
don't think we can ever thank you enough, Spyro. I suppose you have to go now? Yeah, I'd better. They'll be missing me in the Dragon Worlds, and I've still got a vacation to take. I need it more than ever now. Before you go, I think that Moneybags has something he wants to give you. Hmm, I most certainly do not. Hunter? Spyro, Moneybags is very sorry that he made you pay so much on your way through Avalar. We want you to keep the gems as a reward for helping us. Wow, thanks. Sparks, can you grab them? Let me just type in the new coordinates and... There! Spyro, you can now go to Dragon Shores. Hey, why don't you guys come with me? I bet you could use a holiday. I'm afraid we can't, Spyro. Ripto may be gone, but he caused a lot of damage during his short stay. We'll be cleaning up for weeks. Just remember, though, that you can always get back to Avalar from Dragon Shores if you want to visit. Well, okay. Come on, Sparks. We've got a lot of vacation to catch up on.
Well done, Spyro. Step right on into Dragon Shores Park. By the way, if you win ten tokens, you can visit our theater. Spyro, and take a look at what we've got for you today. Inside this here booth, you'll find some of the most vicious creatures you've ever seen. Here's a baseball to spit, sport. Take aim, shoot at the target, and watch as the terrifying creatures fall into the water below. But don't worry, you won't hurt them. Hey, that was pretty funny, wasn't it? Take this token for being such a good shot. Have another shot if you want, kid. This is pretty easy, isn't it? Have another one of these tokens. Have another shot if you want, kid. Wow, you really are a great shot. Take this. It's my last token. Welcome to the Dragon Shores Coaster. Here at the shores, we don't just ride, though. If you can pop all the balloons on the track, a token is waiting for you. Ready to ride? Watch out for the other coasters out there. It's a crowded track today. Good job, Dragon! Here's a token for you! All right, I'll flip this switch and now you can ride more tracks. See if you can pop the balloons on these tracks, too! Watch out for the other coasters out there! It's a crowded track today!
Hey, not bad. Here's another token. There's one more run, and you're on a roll. There's a cannon installed on your car for this run, and you'll have to shoot balloons, too. Are you gonna give it a try? Watch out for the other coasters out there. It's a crowded track today. Wow, you're a natural. You've conquered the coaster. Here's my last token. Hey there, young fella. I'd sure like to let you into the Dragon Shores Theater, but you just haven't won enough tokens. Try visiting the other attractions first. Free, free, free. You pay no money down and make no monthly payments. In return, I'll give you one token. One is all I can give, but you can ride as many times as you'd like. Hop aboard, my friend. As promised, here's your one token. When you have ten, try visiting the Dragon Shores Theater. Hiya, Spyro. I hear you're a pretty good shot. How'd you like to try my shooting gallery? Okay, I'll set the timer for you. Nice shooting! Here's a token! Ready for the next round? Okay, I'll set the timer for you. Nice shooting! Here's a token! Ready for the next round? Okay, I'll set the timer for you. Right. 
Here is my last token. Well, Spyro, it's your lucky day. You've managed to win enough tokens to enter the famous Dragon Shores Theater. Go on in and enjoy the show.
We managed to capture the eggs, Your Highness. Every last one. Excellent. Maybe you will amount to something after all. Now, go guard the tunnels. Stop anyone from coming through. The eggs. The holes came out on the other side of the Dragon Worlds. We found some of the eggs, but they were too heavy to carry back. The other side of the world? The Forgotten Worlds. Spyro, you'll have to go. Nobody else can fit down the holes. Yeah, come on, let's go! Find the eggs and bring them back, Spyro. You're our only chance. You got it. To look left or right, press the L2 or R2 buttons. To quickly center the camera behind you, press the L1 or R1 button. You can look all around by holding the triangle button down. You're the one in charge of rescuing the eggs, huh? <laughs> How sad. Look here, dragon. If you know what's good for you, you'll turn around and crawl back up that hole you came through. Those eggs belong to us now, and I've hidden them in places you'll never find in a thousand years. Besides, even if you could find an egg, our expertly trained armies will dispose of you and take it back. Do I make myself clear? If I find you here again, I am going to be very angry. And you won't like me when I'm angry. Spyro, I just found one of those portal thingamajigs that leads to a different world, but you'll have to glide to get across to it. Press the X button to jump, then press the X button again while you're in the air to glide. Just follow me. I saw something shiny in that cave over there. Let's go check it out. You can get there by hovering. To hover, just press the triangle button at the end of your glide. Oh, I almost forgot. I found this egg. This is 
is a super fly power-up, Spyro. Whenever you walk through any power-up that looks like this one, it will allow you to fly for a while. is currently in passive mode. This mode requires you to control the camera yourself and moves more slowly. If you like, I can change the game camera to active mode. In active mode, the camera moves much faster. Okay, I won't change it. I'm late for a dinner party at the Tiki Lodge, and the portal to my home just stopped working. Maybe the portal will reactivate after a few more dragons hatch. I see an egg at the bottom of this lake. I would go get it, but I don't want to get my fur all wet. Maybe you could get it. You can dive underwater by pressing the square button when you're on the surface and charge underwater by holding down the square button. about to go for a nice swim at Shell Beach, and my portal just disappeared right in front of me. If you go find some more of those dragon eggs, I bet this portal will turn on again. Spyro! 
My, my, how funny to see you here. Why, I haven't seen you since we defeated Ripto in Avalar. <laughs> well, my business went into a slump after you left, so I came here and struck up a nice deal with the local sorcerers. Lovely woman she is. Seems to be very fond of dragons, too. <laughs> I'm getting paid a fortune to keep Sheila the kangaroo locked up. <laughs> the pesky animal must have been causing a lot of trouble for that poor sorceress. I suppose I could accidentally let the kangaroo escape if you were to pay me, say, a small fee. Ah, Spyro, I love your sweet naivete. Your kind-hearted nature might be your downfall someday, but for the time being, it's making me rich. Uh, <laughs> I hope you appreciate this favor I'm doing in letting you out. As good of you, mate. No hard feelings, eh? Right. After all, I'm just doing my job. I reckon you'd be one of them dragons then. Yeah, named Spyro. Never thought I'd see one. You dragons used to rule this entire world, you know. Then all of a sudden you left. Poof. Dragons used to live here? Didn't you know? They say it was over a thousand years ago, I think. And they just left? Yeah, and the weird thing is, after they left, all the magic in the world just sort of went with them. I mean, they say this world used to have magic coming out the wazoo. Flying ships, singing forests, wishing stones, you name it. But when the dragons left, it all just dried up. Is that why some of the portals don't work? Yeah, they're starting to fade out too, one by one. Well, I gotta get back home and do some damage control. Come visit any time you like. Thanks again, Spyro. Now I have to find out what that nasty sorceress has done to my home while I was locked up. Hiya, Sheila. While you were gone, a bunch of Rhinox kicked us out of our houses. It's okay, though. Bobby, Pete and I are working on a clever plan to take them back. up really steep cliffs like this one with your double jump. Press the X button to jump and press it again exactly when you hit the ground to do the double jump. Once you've mastered it, you can go anywhere you want. Last. Here, I was saving this to make an omelet, but I think you deserve it more. Last time we tried to get past this moose, he knocked Billy clean through a wall. If you don't mind, we'll just hang out here while you give him a good kicking.
and smash it on Billy's house, okay? I need to get him back for the last time he butted me off the cliff. have taken over! There'll be no stopping them unless we can smash the huts! The huts are too big to smash with your kick attack, though. Try using your stomp attack to smash them instead. I'll confuse them with taunting while you stomp the huts, okay? You remember how to stomp, don't you? Just jump, then press the triangle button in the air. You remember how to... You can have this egg I found in my house! If you ever forget how to control a character or vehicle, just go to the pause menu and select Help. Oh my, oh my, uh, can you help us? Hordes of ferocious Rhinox have overrun our town and kidnapped the mayor! Show those two bullies! If they hadn't outnumbered me two to one, I'd have finished them off ages ago! The 
rock is too big to charge. You'll have to flame him using the circle button. Spyro, there are Rhinox everywhere. Maybe I can find some peace and quiet at the top of the tower. Alas, I have lost my love, guarded by evil Rhinox at the top of yonder tower. Can you rescue her for me? Sent you here? I've got a restraining order against him.
Spyro. Each time a fairy zaps you like this, that means your progress is saved. If you get into trouble, you'll return to the last place you got zapped. Thanks for the help, but I think I would have worn him down in a minute. Thank you for rescuing my town. As mayor, I award you with one of our famous giant chicken eggs. That was the ugliest chicken I've ever seen! Hi Spyro, I found this gladiator training arena and it makes a pretty cool skate park. Care for a test of your boarding skills? I bet you can't catch all 15 of the lizards running around here. Just come back if you want some boarding tips from the master. Hey, that was great! And while you were boarding, I found this in a lizard burrow. Mm -hmm. 
All right, if you can catch all the lizards without wiping out and before time runs out, I might be able to scrounge up another egg. It's not going to be easy, though. Go get him, Spyro! was sweet. And look, there was another egg in the lizard burrow. You can go for the course record now if you want. Whenever you hop on a skateboard, a timer will start. Score as many points as you can until the timer expires or you wipe out. Good luck!
Ooh, look out, Hunter. It's the scary sorceress. I've warned you already. This place isn't safe for small dragons and pussycats. Thanks, but I think we can look after ourselves. Try looking after this! Come back when you finish witch school, okay? Say, is it just me, or is she kind of cute when she's angry? have shut down our cloud generator, and I'll never see a rainbow again. If my wings were big and strong like yours, I could easily glide across here. metal armor those enemies are wearing protects them from your dragon flame. If you hold down the square button, you can defeat them with your charge attack. Well, well, if it isn't my favorite dragon. The sorceress has put me in charge of guarding these bellows. However, I suppose I might look the other way if I was distracted by counting gems. Ooh, yes, precious, precious gems. Uh, well then, Spyro, you may now use the bellows any time you wish. Best of luck on your little egg hunt.
remember, to get your longest glide, press the X button at the very top of your jump and use the triangle button to hover at the end of your jump. You activated the bellows? Maybe I can get the cloud generator working again. The Rhinox must have been using this thing to clog up the cloud generator. Our sun has gone out. We can make a new one with our lava fusion cauldron and three sun seeds. But they keep burning up before we can get them in the pot. Step on the switch to get a fresh sun seed and keep flaming it until you get it into the pot. this last sun seed as a souvenir. I think it might be a dud, though. usually wake up our rain cloud at the crack of dawn. But these mischievous spirits are stopping our bells from ringing.
do, Dad? It fell out of the belfry. At last, my portal is working again. Come visit me at the Tiki Lodge. Rhinox are running rampant around here, but I can't get anyone out of the Tiki Lodge long enough to do anything about it. Keep your friend Sparks the Dragonfly healthy, Spyro. If his health is low, torch a little creature like the slug below me to release a butterfly.
Take this egg. They were giving them away at the Tiki Lodge last night. You're just in time. I saw two egg thieves run through this door. Well, actually, they paid me to guard their hideout, but uh, that's irrelevant. I'll happily let you through the gate to chase them down for <clears throat> a small finder's fee. Thank you, Spyro, and best of luck catching those dastardly egg thieves. Are you the dragon looking for all those eggs? Because I saw a shifty looking character with one over there. There goes another one. He was really fast. Maybe if I activate the supercharge, you'll be able to catch him.
while I was gone, my friends borrowed the Rhinox submarine, and then they took it for a joyride, and, and then they smashed it into a big pile of rocks. Oddly enough, the Rhinox failed to see the humor in the story and stuffed my friends in the jail behind you. <laughs> summary of your progress in a world, you can press the select button to open the atlas page for the world you are in. when gliding. Just press the triangle button at the end of your glide. Spyro, some of my seal friends are trying to take down a Rhinoch fortress. I'm about to go and lend a foot. I love the smell of singed Rhinoch in the morning. Fortress 
on our beach and we're gonna blow it to smithereens. We just need you to take out all the turrets for us. We're lighting the bomb now. Just make sure to stop all those turrets before the fuse runs out, okay? ultra-high-speed superfluidity tunnel. The good news is that it made it to the end of the tunnel without a scratch. The bad news is that there's no way to get it back out now. The tunnel is chock full of Rhinox and floating mines. The only way to retrieve that egg is to defeat every single Rhinox in the tunnel. <laughs> good fluid dynamic characteristics. From now on, all of our submarines will be egg-shaped. while he was shaking me. Now I can free my friends! 
I forgot to tell you, one of the Rhinox had this egg in his lunchbox. has challenged us to a naval battle. Our speedboat versus his nuclear shark submarine. If we win, we get the dragon egg he's guarding. If we lose, we have to spend a month in KP. What do you say? Do you want to take on Bluto? Okay, good luck. Just remember, stay away from the sharp end. was worth all the trouble. Let's head on over to the balloon! The balloon's all ready, sir! Just jump on! Baby, 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 baby,
A bunch of sheep and flying saucers just came out of nowhere and started blasting up the race course. Looks like I'll have to hop in my plane and teach him some manners. Look out, sheep! Here I come! Check it out! The squad leader had abducted this egg! This balloon will take you to the Great Tiki Lodge in the sky. Just jump on when you're ready. Hop in the balloon whenever you want, Spyro. I guess you just hop in the balloon now. Don't ask me how it works. I just showed up for the punch and cookies. <laughs> This balloon will take you to a land closer to the Sorceress Spyro. You can also use it to come back here whenever you want to. Listen carefully, you stupid girl. I'm only going to ask you one more time. Why haven't you disposed of that infernal dragon? I... I've tried to scare him off, Your Highness. But he's just not afraid of anything. Not afraid? Not afraid?! Why have I been training you all these years?! Use some magic! Here's a spell book. Whip up a monster. And eliminate him. Uh... Kill him? I don't care what you do, you useless brat, as long as you get rid of him. Okay, let's see what we got here. This ought to do it. You, come here. <laughs> When I heard the sorceress was planning to ambush you, I got here as fast as I could. No worries, though. This wussy green toad will be no match for the two of us.
Okay, Dragon, you've managed to survive longer than I expected. But you haven't the slightest idea what sort of dangers lie ahead of you. I suggest you grab your cat friend and whatever eggs you found and hightail it back home while you still can. I'm telling you this for your own good, you know. Hey, Spyro, Zoe told me that if we hit that doodad up there, the portal will open. Why don't you try spitting this rock at it?
When you see a ladder or walls that look climbable, just jump onto it and you'll grab it with your claws. This is a super flame power-up. You'll find more just like it scattered throughout all the worlds. Why don't you try this one out by using it to break all these planters? I think I saw a Rhinoc hide an egg in one of them. <laughs> My good friend Spyro, the sorceress caught this naughty bird letting off rockets in her fireworks factory, but I'm willing to release him into your custody, provided you pay his outstanding fines. <laughs> what a sucker. Uh, that is, it's a far, far better thing you do today, Spyro, than you have ever done, and, uh, well, so forth, etc. You get the idea.
Sergeant Byrd, 9068. Awaiting orders, sir. Uh, I think you'll have to find your commanding officer for that. Hey, what are those things? These are the latest military hardware. DBX-9 rocket launchers, state-of-the-art. So why didn't you use them to escape? Because, because I have limited ammo, and I wanted to conserve it. For this. <laughs> Say, where'd you come from? I thought dragons had all been dead for a thousand years or something. Well, the rumors of our extinction were slightly exaggerated. We just wanted a little peace and quiet. Well, if it's peace and quiet you want, you should stay clear of my homeworld for a bit. I reckon I'll be blowing up Rhinox for weeks. Cheerio! I have to train the hummingbirds. They must be in peak physical condition if we're going to take on the sorceress. Sir, the situation is this. Yesterday, at 1845 hours, the Rhinox invaded. We defended as best we could, sir, but without your leadership, we didn't put up an effective resistance. By 1900 hours, the rest of the squad was captured and the Rhinox had complete control of the base. Thank you, sir. I recommend you take the enemy out with your rockets by pressing the circle button, sir. <laughs> Should the enemy Russians, they won't march far on an empty stomach. Sir, the Rhinox have blocked the way out of this next cave with a security door, and I don't think you'll be able to blast your way through this one. Recommend you land on the weights and carry them to the pressure-sensitive security switches either side of the door. When in position, press the square button to drop the weight. Press the triangle button once to look down. Press it again to look up, sir.
fighting the good fight, sir. We're almost there, and I'm uh, right behind you. I'm ready to be debriefed, sir. Mission accomplished. It's great to have you back, sir. Reporting for duty, sir.
Before I was captured, I recovered this egg from the enemy, sir. Hello, Spyro. I'm just off to the Tiki Lodge for some R and R. I'm playing a game of hide and seek with my friends. If I can't find where they've hidden their heads, they won't let me join the Tiki Lodge. Help me put them back together, and I'll make you an honorary member.
take this egg as a sign of your honorary membership in the lodge. Well, that's never happened before. I hope it's not a bad omen. Spyro, I found an egg, but only Sparks will be able to reach it. There's a small hole that leads to a crawdad farm. I can take him there if he's ready. Hello, Sparks. Maybe before you take on the nasty crawdads, I should give you some help. To start, let's practice shooting. Press the circle button to shoot these targets. You can also move quickly by charging like Spyro. To charge, hold down the square button. Use your charge to chase down this fast enemy. Now for the hard part. Being a maneuverable dragonfly, you can also slide in any direction. To slide, hold down the L1 or R1 button. Then move with the analog stick or directional button. Try sliding up and down to hit the targets in this room. On your travels, you'll notice butterflies that give you health, just like in the dragon worlds. Not only that, but some butterflies will give you special powers, though only for a short time. Just eat any power-up butterfly, and then press the X button to use that power-up. Your power-up is shown in the top right of the screen. Looks like you're ready, Sparks. If you need any more help, just choose the Help option from the Pause menu.
Nice work, Sparks! You've beaten the Crawdad King and found the lost egg. Not only that, but some of the dragon magic seems to have rubbed off on you. Now you can pick up gems when they're even further away from Spyro. <laughs> I've assessed the situation. We need five men to operate the Whirly Geek. <laughs> I was supposed to meet Doug to go ice fishing today, but Rhinox have blocked the path with ice, so I can't get through. I've been trying to clear the way with this cannon, but it doesn't even shoot straight. I haven't been able to hit a dang thing all morning. <laughs> You shot the ice block, eh? Must be beginner's luck.
Step right up, Spyro. Behind this door is the single greatest show on earth. That's right, ice dancing. Season tickets are available, but you'll have to act fast. I always knew you were a cultured sort of dragon. Well, step right in. The show's about to start. Tonight is my big ice dance performance, and these hockey players are ruining it. Every time I start my routine, they come in and smack me with their sticks. Oh, I sure wish I had a partner. Someone courageous and strong and handsome and purple who breathes fire. Will you please help me perform my ice dance? These mean Reinick khaki players keep hogging the ice and all I want to do is dance. Let's go! my best performance ever. I guess one of the judges didn't like it, though. He threw this egg at me instead of a rose. Why don't you have it? <laughs> I put up ice blocks this morning so Bob wouldn't beat me to the ice fishing hole. If you want to try out the hole, you can borrow this fishing lure I've been using. <laughs> oh, by the way, feel free to use our gondola whenever you want.
发，披发发，披发发，披发发。We should help her. You're kidding, right? She nearly toasted you. Yeah, but she was aiming at you. No problem. It's a good thing for you Hunter was around. I can look after myself. Oh, sure you can. Would you like me to show you? Cloud of magic, huh? How about I give you a jump start? Ha! Huh, I'll deal with you later. Hey, why'd you have to scare her off? Those crummy Rhinox forced us to build a statue of the sorceress. Then, after we built it, she complained it was too ugly. If you ask me, the statue is much prettier than she is.
The world breathlessly awaits my brilliant four-dimensional masterpiece. Just light all the rockets and prepare to be amazed by my genius. I forgot I hid this egg inside the statue. I hope the explosion didn't hard boil it. Isn't this the wildest skateboard park you've ever seen? Once you've mastered a few tricks, you can score huge points in this place. What do you say I show you some moves? Let's start with something easy. You can jump off the end of ramps by pressing the X button. I'll show you how to do it once, then it's your turn. Okay, now try doing a roll. You can roll in midair by holding down the triangle button and steering left or right. Hey, nice roll! Now let's see you pull a flip. Flips are exactly like rolls, only you push up or down instead of left or right. Just jump off the ramp, hold down the triangle button, and push up or down on the directional pad. Whoa! You must be a natural! Now let's see if you can pull off a half-pipe spin move. The blue ramps are half-pipes. You can do a spin move by jumping at the top of the blue ramp, then steering left or right in the air. Alright, you nailed it! Now let's see if you can do a 900. Get as much height as you can, spin two and a half revolutions in the air, and land back on the ramp. Now that was a 900! I have to admit, you've got some skills, Spyro. But before you get too cocky, let's see if you can score some real points on the giant ski ramp. Do whatever moves you want and see how many points you can get. Wow, you 
you learn really fast. Then again, you are being trained by a master boarder. Speaking of which, I was just practicing a nearly impossible new move that I call the Nasty Nork. I had almost pulled it off when I suddenly ran smack into this dragon egg and wiped out. Okay, I made that up, but you can have this egg. I'm thinking you're ready to try some one-on-one -on -one competition. Want to try a freestyle competition for points? All right, whoever scores the most points in the time limit wins. believe it. How did you get so good already? Who knows, someday you might even break my course record. Nah. Anyway, I guess I should give you this other egg I found. I was going to keep it for a pet, but I can't get it to hatch. <laughs> You can go for the course record now if you want. Whenever you hop on a skateboard, a timer will start. Score as many points as you can until the timer expires or you wipe out. Good luck!
I was playing catch with my pet wolf, Farley, but I accidentally threw his ball down this hole, and he went in after it. Now he's stuck down there. I feel so helpless, sitting up here, listening to his steadily softening whimpers. Don't cry, wolf. Never cry, wolf. <laughs> Can I ever thank you? I mean, I could give you this old egg, but Farley's been chewing on it, and it's kind of slimy. Oh well, it's the thought that counts, right? I'm ready to patrol the towers and the perimeter of the islands whenever you want me to. It's good to be back in action! You're doing great. Please find the rest of the bones so we can put my friend back together.
Here, have this. I was going to keep it as a souvenir, but I don't have room in my luggage. <laughs> my friend is feeling much better now. Oh no! He started his bone dance again! I'm ready to patrol the towers and the perimeter of the islands whenever you want me to. I'll be here when you need me. That gator was mean. I thought I was a goner. Thanks for saving me.
This door is jammed shut. Only the power of gems can hope to move it. You've made a wise choice. It will mean more eggs for you and more gems for me. Best of all, Spyro, I can stop speaking haiku. What a sweet relief. <laughs> Brave dragon, much braver than I by far. Here, take this darn egg. The tea lamps are lit. Now I'll tell you the secret of what's in this house. A creepy wizard lives inside but hits the light. He has awoken. He swore to destroy whoever lights the tea lamps. Better you than me. This swamp smells so sweet. The springtime trees are fragrant. I'm off to kick butt. We have the bombs here. We must destroy the egg cage. But we just go boom. Kangaroo can help. You can clear the pass for us. Will Sheila help us? Yes, it's bombing time. Here I come, my little eggs, to free you at last.
one egg cage remains. Will you now help my brother to free the last egg? If you clear my path, I can blow up the egg cage. Poor, poor captive eggs. Yes, it's bombing time. Here I come, my little eggs, to free you at last. The eggs are all free. Two dragons are born today. Sheila's my hero. Rhinox have been harassing us all day. The workers haven't been able to harvest the bamboo needed for the whirligig to take you to Evening Lake. We've tried asking them to leave, but there's no reasoning with them. <laughs> Do you mind? I'm trying to avoid being trampled by a water buffalo. <laughs>
if you would accept this as a token of our appreciation. Oh, the emergency escape bridge. Why didn't I think of it sooner? I shall open it right away.
Please help us, Spyro. My friends are trying to go home after a long shift in the fields, but rotten rhinox keep knocking them down. Can you save the panda workers? Please hop aboard. Make sure to toast the rhinox, oh, but not my friends. <laughs> Take this shiny egg. It will bring you good luck. Let's head on over to the Whirly Gig. Baby, this is me. 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 Baby,
Gonna believe this, but there are sheep saucers and space cows all over this place. We gotta stop them before they abduct anybody. I'm gonna strap on my jetpack and blast some space cows. Look out, cows! Here I come!
We got the last one just before he abducted this egg. You can use the whirly gig whenever you are ready. Just hop on, Spyro. The sky shall be your domain. New worlds await you. Hop aboard. The whirly gig is ready to take you far away. Just jump aboard. All systems checked out A-OK. -okay. Jump aboard! You bumbling, idiotic, worthless fool! I ask you to carry out one simple task, and you fail me! I should have known better than to rely on a child. But don't worry about it. I'll deal with them now. These eggs can't be worth all this trouble. Without the dragons, the magic in this world will wither away. Without magic, I'll die. And so will your ever so slim chance of becoming a sorceress. Now, watch how a real sorceress dispatches her enemies. How would you like some dragon for lunch? My tactical instincts told me the sorceress would attack you here, so I flew in to help out. It seems my rocket launchers don't affect this creature, but I can assist you by dropping ammunition. Now get in there and fight the good fight! <laughs> Listen to me, dragon. 
Spyro. This is serious now. The sorceress is planning a trap for you, and if she catches you... Believe me, you don't want to know what she's going to do. Look, I promise to take good care of the rest of the eggs. I mean it. Just take Hunter and go back home before... Before... I can't say it! Just go! Spyro, this power-up can make you invincible, but only for a short while. Use it to get by these flame spitters. You'll find an egg when you get past them. <laughs>
<laughs> the sorceress has a real prize on her hands here. It took two dozen rhinox to capture this dim-witted furball, so you'd better believe he's not going to get out cheap. Where are you getting all this money, Spyro? <laughs> it's not just lying around on the ground, is it? Uh, is it? Ah, what do I care? It's mine now. First rejuvenating breath of freedom. With the humility of a wounded sparrow, I genuflect to my noble deliverer. Uh, it was no big deal, dude. Yes. <clears throat> After all, it was I who let you out. Why, you brazenly avaricious, duplicitous, larcenous ursine! Now hold on! <coughs> <coughs> One more, perhaps? At least. Please do afford me the sublime honor of enjoying your visitation in the nearest future. Yeah, sure. I will gladly help you on your quest, Spyro, but first I must attend to my young sibling. I'm afraid he may have gotten himself into trouble during my absence. Hey, bro, it'd be really cool if you smash that boulder. A swift smack should do the trick. I heard those big bullies calling you a wuss. You're not going to let them get away with that, are you? your spin move to deflect the snowball into the gong, I bet we can make the roof cave in. <laughs> Forever to train those seals to throw snowballs. Now they've gone and turned on me. Another gong! Great! I bet we could cause an avalanche with this one! <laughs>
stinking Rhinoc has blocked the way with this box. It shouldn't be any problem for you to push it out of the way, though. Hey, Brainiac, you're supposed to be smart. Why don't you try pushing those blocks around to bridge that gap? Thanks, bro. Here's a little something for your rock collection. Thank you ever so much for opening the emergency bridge spiral. day for a bit of a walk. I was just heading to the top of my favourite hill.
Hey! I think I saw some Rhinox run up to the top of that hill with an egg! Pyro and Sparks, I found another lost egg. If Sparks is up to it, he can try to rescue it from Spider Town.
Excellent work, Sparks. And I see that you've gained another new ability. Now if you hold down the L1, L2, R1, and R2 buttons at the same time, Sparks will point to any treasure still hanging around. Welcome to Frozen Altar, Spyro. On behalf of the Ice Fairies, I want to grant you a special power for as long as you stay in our world. Some bear sold us a laser defense system to protect us from Rhinox, but with these flippers I can't even turn it on. You'd have no trouble using it though. Just walk inside. When you're done, press the triangle button and you'll walk back out. <laughs> Eustace and I were having a snowman building competition when the sorceress brought them to life with a spell. Since then they've been stomping around building ice walls and generally causing trouble. easy to get up to that treasure if you had something to stand on. Pyro, I've just received word from my little brother. He appears to be having some trouble with the Yeti. <laughs> that dumb Yeti took my ball! 
all. I told him to give it back or you'd kick his lousy butt, but he wouldn't listen. Oh, I know you do it. Go and show him not to mess with us. Remember to block his eye punches and hit him low when he tries to block. showed him. Hey, wait a minute, this isn't my ball. You should go back and kick his butt again. Make him give me my ball back. This time it'll be a free round match, and when you win, don't let him send you off with a stupid egg. Only two more rounds to go. You're doing great. Isn't my ball? It's just another stupid egg. Thanks for helping out, Spyro. Why don't you take this? The Rhinox were trying to fry it with a laser, but you stopped them just in time.
Say, Spyro, you're a sports fan, aren't you? As you probably know, Frozen Altars is the birthplace of the great sport of cat hockey. Today's match is sold out, of course, but I just happen to have a spare ticket that I'll sell you for, say, a teensy-weensy markup. Head on in, Spyro. It should be a thrilling match. In fact, <laughs> I've even placed a little wager on the Rhinoc team. Let's just hope the local team doesn't have any last-minute accidents. I challenged a Rhinoc to a traditional game of cat hockey, but I think I sprained my flipper during training. Would you mind taking my place? Great. Freeze the cats and push them into my goal to score. deserve to keep the Champions Cup.
be careful around these parts, little dragon. There be more ghosts in this here shipyard than I can shake me pick at. Darn shame, too, because I was mighty close to finding me treasure. <laughs> I reckon me treasure be this way, but we'll have to blast through this bloomin' ship to get to it. Look at that. Some fool hit a dang gum egg in me treasure. These here waters used to be my favorite diving spot. Uh, but I can't get any loot with these subs patrolling around. Think you can pilot this here sub I bought for scrap? All right.
righty then. I'll press the X button to speed on up, and when you get a sub in your sights, the torpedo will start to lock on. If you get a good lock on, fire away with the circle button. I'll be darned! You got some mean sub driving skills! Why don't you have this here egg as a reward? Well, I, I hate to ask your help again, but there be even more subs that darn come out of nowheres. If you could blast them, I could use this acid lake as my swimming hole again. Darn tootin'! Get on, little dragon! Lake is safe for swimming again. <laughs> I wish I could reward you better, but all I got's left is this here other egg. Maybe there'll be something better in this one.
Spyro, you're just in time. A Rhinox skateboard gang has challenged us to a race. They said you're slower than a molten crater fire slug. I stuck up for you, though. I told them I've seen some pretty fast fire slugs. So, are you ready to race these guys? They bet us an egg that you won't win. Right on! You can use my special racing board. Every time you do a trick, it builds up turbo charge. You can use your turbos at any time by pressing the square button. Good luck! Yes! You schooled them like a bunch of dizzy one-toed sand norks. Oh yeah, I guess we won this egg too. Now that the Rhinox are gone, do you want to try a real challenge? I know you're fast, but I bet you can't defeat all the crabs on the course and still beat me in a race. Want to give it a shot? All right! Eat my skate dust, sucker!
can't believe you beat me. You must have been practicing the whole time I thought you were looking for eggs. Hey, speaking of which, one of those crabs was guarding this one. Good to see you again, Spyro. That naughty sorceress has stolen the professor's rocket plans, and I'm on a secret mission to find them. Handel was supposed to meet me here, but I can't find him anywhere. Maybe you could help. you'll have to use this cannon to get across here. Simply climb aboard. As for me, I just have to free my mind.
I could see an egg behind you, but it's out of reach. You'll have to take the long way round through all these Winox to get to it. Sorceress has already used the plans to build her own rocket. We have to destroy it. Just follow me! It. They must have been trying to put it into orbit. If you see Handel, tell him I've gone back to Evening Lake to finish work on the Professor's rocket.
Hubbo power up to take out these fire dragons. It will allow you to super fly and super flame at the same time. monsters would be no match for you. Thought you might be hungry. Thanks. Did you bring any chips? I'm sorry this happened, but I tried to warn you. I had to help Spyro rescue the eggs. You just don't understand. If we don't bring dragons back to this world soon, all our magic will be lost. The dragons used to live here? Yes. This was their original home. But a long, long time ago, the sorceress banished them to the other side of the world. <laughs> She didn't realize the dragons were the source of all our magic. Maybe I could convince the dragons to come back, if you let me go. I'm sorry, I can't.
Spyro, we urgently need your help. The evil cat wizards of Felinia have stormed our castle and captured our princess. If we don't stop them right away, they'll force her to marry Prince Azrael. <laughs> Hey Spyro, if we don't get to the castle right away, the princess will be forced to marry that loser, Prince Azrael. Well, Spyro, today is your lucky day. The wizards and I have worked out a little deal. If you simply pay a small toll, they'll be happy to raise these steps and let you pass. You have chosen wisely, Spyro. I'll tell the wizards to raise the steps immediately. And uh, best of luck rescuing that princess. Or whatever it is you're up to. Azrael and his cat armies are about to steal our poor princess.
According to legends, there's a golden goose at the top of this here mountain. I want to be the first person to the top so I can grab it. I just bought some Insta Sprout Ultra Super Grow seeds from a bear with a bag of gems. He said they were magic, but I can't make them do anything. You can have a couple if you like. I found this egg on the way up here. I think it was laid by a golden goose. We'll have to keep going. We're almost to the top. You've been doing great so far. Why don't you take two more seeds?
last, I've found the legendary golden goose. You can have another one of its eggs for a souvenir. So Prince Azrael ran into the castle. We have to stop him before he reaches the princess. just the dreamiest. The other fairies and wizards won't let us get married, so we're going to elope. By the way, Azrael says you can have this egg if you don't tell anyone where we went. Hey, Spyro. I'd like to stay and chat, but I'm late for a, uh, an engagement with a fairy friend of mine. Uh, she's just a friend, you understand. It's a strictly platonic relationship. It's certainly not a violation of military protocol whatsoever. <clears throat> what? What are you giving me that look for? Where have you been, James? We were supposed to meet in the temple an hour ago. And don't give me that old matters of national security line again. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter, though. The whole temple is full of nasty cat witches anyway. We'll just have to call off our date. Well, that is, unless you want to battle the witches. <laughs> So, I see those rocket launchers aren't just for show after all. Well, I just hope your accuracy is better than your punctuality, because there are still a lot more witches in the temple.
I must admit, James, I am impressed. There are still a few witches left, though, and this time they mean business. They even turned the floor into deadly blue ooze. Oh, be careful, okay? You did it, James. I knew you weren't the leader of the Hummingbird Resistance Movement for nothing. Now we have the temple all to ourselves. But first, I have a present for you. Thank <laughs> you. 
the rockets fueled up and ready to go, Spyro. I guess this hunk of junk is supposed to fly. <laughs> sure glad I ain't the one getting on. Hop on, Spyro. Don't worry. Fairy engineering has never failed. Hop aboard, Spyro, and boldly go where no dragon has gone before. Well, at least not in a thousand years, at any rate. The rocket is ready for launch, Spyro. Hop aboard whenever you want. That's it. I've had enough. I'm going to create a monster to end all monsters. <laughs> and I'm going to send it out to destroy all the dragons, even the little hatchlings. Yes, yes! It will smash them and crush them and grind them and tear them! Oh, yes! Smear them and smoosh them and crack them and crease them! But, uh, won't that kill them? <laughs> that doesn't matter! As long as I can still collect their wings! What? All this time you've only wanted them for their wings? Of course, you ignorant girl. I need them for a spell, so I can live forever! Uh, uh, wait, wait a second. A, a spell? What did you think I was going to do with all those dragons? Open a zoo? <laughs> you said just keeping them in our world was enough. You never said you had to kill them. I don't have to kill them. It just stops them from wriggling so much. You're terrible. I can't believe I ever listened to you. Stupid, insolent brat. I'll take care of her as soon as I finish off that dragon. Now, where was I? Ah, yes! This might be our last stand, Spyro. The sorceress plans to use this monster to destroy every iota of her opposition, beginning with the two of us. Alas, there is no time for ruminating. A battle awaits us. I will endeavor to assist you by means of a steady provision of combustible projectiles. <laughs> Bianca, did you bring any more food? I'm starving. 
There's no time for that, Hunter. We have to stop the sorceress. She's gonna kill all the dragon hatchlings. Wait a minute. Why should I trust you? This could be another trap. You're in a cage, you furry numbskull. How can I trap you by letting you out? I don't know. You sorceress types can be sneaky. I never thought we were gonna hurt the dragons. Come on, we don't have time for this. Spyro, I know you don't trust me, but I want to help you stop the sorceress. There's a way to open a hidden portal to her lair, but it'll take some very strong magic. If you can find more of the dragon eggs, I think my magic will be strong enough to open the portal. I'll come find you when you have enough eggs, okay? Spyro, you found enough of the dragon eggs for me to unlock the portal. Once I've opened it, you can confront the sorceress whenever you're ready. But be careful, she'll be expecting you.
Well, well, Spyro, look what I have here. It's a life-size space monkey action figure, complete with a fully operational laser. I'd love to let him out so you can play with him, but the sorceress seems to think he's a menace. <laughs> <laughs> You've always had a weakness for helping silly little creatures, haven't you, Spyro? Oh, well, I suppose there couldn't be any harm in letting him out, could there? Though too bad I had a lot more ammo left. <laughs> anyway, I heard all about how you've been fighting the sorceress and her armies and kicking all that butt, and I just wanted to say, huzzah, yippee, woohoo! Wish I could stay, but my homeworld's been overrun by Rhinox since I've been captured. If you happen to see the sorceress, tell her I'll be giving her dancing lessons real soon. Know what I mean? You bet. Later. Ah, Agent Nine, my favorite pupil. Welcome back to my island laboratory. I'm afraid Rhinox have taken over the whole island. Perhaps you could stop them before they destroy all my research. Oh, it'll be just like old times. Try shooting these dummies to get warmed up, but uh, be careful. I think a Rhinoc might be hiding among them. A vast number of Rhinox are waiting to ambush us as soon as I lower this force field. I expect they'll keep coming until you shoot the red panic button next to the door where they come out. show that a bunch of Rhinox are hiding behind the display screen. I'll switch on the view pedestal and you shoot them as they attack. I recommend using your sniper mode.
cleared them out. Let's see what kind of shape the machine room is in. I have a feeling the Rhinox haven't been keeping it too clean. Just as I thought, the machine room is overrun with birds. To target the birds in their nests, you'll want to use sniper mode. Then, zoom in for pinpoint accuracy. Nice work, Agent Nine! Uh, I'm not sure if this is a bird egg or dragon egg. What do you think? Now I can switch the gravitonometric generator back on. I hope no birds got in there. The lab's clear, and it smells better in here already. Follow me outside, where I expect we'll find some Rhinox wearing armor. You'll need a more powerful weapon to defeat them. <laughs> By my calculations, the bombs in this handy vending machine should be highly effective against armor. Give it a shot!
just a few more enemies left. You can do it! Thank you very much for saving my laboratory. Uh, now I can resume thinking. Hey, Spyro! I'm helping a kid called Handel recover some secret rocket plans the sorcerer stole. You know, I'm always ready to kick some Rhinoc booty! <laughs> Hi, Agent Knight. Behind those doors are some pretty scary ninjas. I bet you could use your sharpshooter skills to take them out. Remember, 
Press the circle button to shoot, and use L1 and R1 to dodge left and right.
thanks for rescuing me. You better look after this egg before the Whinox try to blow that up too. Look out, Spyro! There's a really big sheep UFO around here, and it's trying to get me! I snatched up a dragon egg it was trying to abduct, and now it wants revenge! You wait here. I'll lure the UFO down the river of honey. Okay, here I go. Did you see that? Nobody outraces a cheetah. And look, I didn't even drop the egg. Princess Amy showed me a place called Starfish Reef. She says there's an egg hidden in there. I think Sparks should check it out.
When I saw that giant stingray, I thought you were a goner, Sparks. But you sure showed him. Now the magic from the egg has made you even stronger, so you can take one more hit for Spyro. <laughs> Don't tell anyone, but we've stolen some magic from the sorceress. We're hiding here whilst we practice using it. Unfortunately, we've had a bit of an accident and turned everything into crystal, and it, it seems to have aggravated the indigenous creatures. Would you like to see a magic trick? Watch carefully. As you can see, there is nothing up my left sleeve. Nothing up my right sleeve. But now, with a wave of my hands and the magic word, Alakazam! <laughs> You want to see the trick again? <sighs> well, all right. But I want you to know this isn't as easy as it looks. <clears throat> Alakazam! <laughs> All this magic is just misdirection, you know. Which is why I'm going to start that whirlwind over there. Abra Kadabra! <laughs>
Okay, I'll show you again. If you watch carefully, maybe you'll be able to see how it's done. Abracadabra! Spyro, did you know I happen to be a very talented amateur magician? My specialty is the, uh, amazing extending bridge trick. I'd love to show you, but I need a small donation first for my expenses, you understand. Very good. Uh, let's see. Hocus pocus. Ziggledy Zen, make this bridge get long again. Well, I suppose I could show you my new trick. As long as you promise not to tell the great Zamboni. He steals all my best work. Alakazam! <laughs> Here, you can have this. I was going to use it in a trick, but my magic just keeps bouncing off. Good evening, Spyro. The amazing Randini is about to put on a display of prestidigitation. I've heard that it's quite impressive, so I'm going to watch the show.
I'm afraid my magic show seems to have overexcited the moles. They need a good bonk on the head to calm them down, and you look like just the man to help. A light tap on the head should sort them out, but watch out for my friends. They're trying to burrow after them. Well done! And look, one of my friends dug up this whilst chasing the moles. Oh, you must be Spyro. A lot of people are talking about all the things you've done for them. Do you think you could help find my girlfriend, Tara? She went off to raid the tomb of the stone golem, and I haven't seen her since. I'd go look inside the tomb myself, but you know there's all these scorpions and stuff. <laughs>
Hi, Spyro. Haven't seen you in a while. I'm just off for a bit of a walkabout right now. You know, sometimes you just long for the simple, old-fashioned pleasures of yesteryear, don't you? Spyro, I bet you're glad to see me. It just happens that I know the uh, password to open the door to the tomb of the stone golem. But uh, it seems to have slipped my mind for the moment, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Very well then, the password to open the tomb is... Are you ready? <laughs> Gullible! I've been training my new pet manta ray to carry the latest technology super high impact underwater missile launchers. Wanna ride him and try blasting some sharks? Just watch out for the shark riders. They're carrying the latest JX-5 underwater tracking ammunition.
Nice shooting, comrade. Where'd you learn to aim like that? Oh, by the way, Bianca wanted me to give you this egg. She says she accidentally turned it into a woolly mammoth for five minutes, but it should still be okay. you showing up here to raid the tomb after I've done all the work I spend all day pressing switches and shoving boxes around and you just waltz in here expecting to claim the treasure well you might as well have it only turned out to be a lousy egg anyway <laughs> Yet another daredevil adventurer has come to rob our catacombs of loot. Let's just hope you're made of tougher stuff than the last guy. If you can survive the trials of our catacombs and answer my riddle, we will give you a prize befitting your efforts. Here is my riddle. I am a vessel without hinges, lock or lid. Yet, within my walls, a golden treasure is hid. What am I?
the first round of the annual demolition hovercraft competition is about to begin. There is room for one more contestant, but you'll have to answer a riddle to qualify. The riddle is this. If one dragon can lay one egg in 12 years, how long would it take for 100 dragons to lay 100 eggs? Very impressive. That is correct. Good luck in the demolition hovercraft competition. That was a fierce battle indeed. Please accept this prize for winning the first round. You may now enter the championship round. However, this is an exceedingly dangerous sport. Might I suggest you quit while you're still in one piece? My, my! Such a brave reptile you are! But you'll need much more than bravery to win the championship! That was indeed a battle for the ages. You're the first dragon to win the competition in over a thousand years. I proudly present you this year's grand prize. I see you've managed to survive the trials of the catacombs. Now let's find out if your wits are as quick as your feet. Do you remember the riddle? I am a vessel without hinges, lock or lid. Yet within my walls a golden treasure is hid. What am I? Have you heard that one before? 
I never thought you'd get it. Very well. A bargain is a bargain. You may have the dragon egg that I was guarding from the sorceress. I've waited 7,000 years for someone to solve that riddle. Now, I can finally head off to Seashell Shore to bury some bones. One of those dogs with funny hats put a curse on me just because I shot him in the butt a couple of times. <laughs> he said he turned my tail into a snake. Does it look like a snake to you? It does feel kind of funny. Come to think of it, oh boy, that dog's gonna pay. Behind this door lie the five deadly trials of King Rover. No one has ever survived all five. In fact, it is so dangerous that I cannot let you through this first door unless you are able to solve my riddle. Here's the riddle. I follow you wherever you go, but the more of me you take, the more you leave behind. My, my. You're quite clever for someone with so little fashion sense. You may proceed to the first trial.
Darn it, Spyro! I came in here to check on my prisoner, only to find out he'd somehow got away again. Then when I came in to look around for clues, one of them rowdy dinosaurs went and locked me in. Now they're out there causing all sorts of trouble, and there's not a thing I can do about it. Now my prisoners keep escaping. Here, take this dinosaur egg away before it hatches and causes more trouble. I think it must have been the run of the litter, though. <laughs> Jumping Jehoshaphat! That's the cutest looking dinosaur I ever did see.
One of them dinosaurs threw an egg down this flooded mine shaft. I'd get it back for you, but I ain't such a strong swimmer. That was some mighty fine swimming, young dragon. The sheriff promised me I could be a deputy, so I'm off to help clear out all the dinosaurs. <laughs> If you just calm down for a second and stop all that whooping and hollering, I can tell you what's going on. The Bailey gang are holed up in them buildings over there. You're gonna have to just go in there and flush them out. Well, good luck to you. why the Bailey gang was trying so hard to steal this egg. That's not like them at all. I reckon someone must have put them up to it.
these flying sheep saucers keep coming from. I just saw another one grab an egg and fly off. This one's super fast, but his saucer is damaged and it's leaving smoke rings. I think I can keep up with him as long as I can make it through the rings. I'm gonna chase him down. I'll be right back! was close. The egg popped out just before the saucer crash landed. Sorceress, but
Spyro, you've just defeated the sorceress, rescued the dragon eggs, and restored freedom to the lost dragon worlds. What do you plan to do next? Hmm? Perhaps a nice vacation in Dragon Shores? Hmm? <laughs> You're a real comedian sometimes, Bentley. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I still have to find the rest of the dragon eggs. Plus, Hunter seems to have disappeared again, so I should go make sure he's not in more trouble. You haven't seen him, have you? Huh? Me? Oh, no, no. If I do happen to encounter him, however, I will most certainly inform you immediately. It's a funny thing, Spyro. I adjusted Avalar's portals to take me to the Dragon Worlds, but somehow I ended up here. Maybe my coordinate tables are out of date. By a thousand years. That would explain why the book was so cheap. So, now that you're done saving the world again, are you gonna visit me in Avalar? Sure, Alora, but I still have to find the rest of the eggs and, well, Hunter's disappeared again. Did you say, Hunter? Well, hey, I can help. I just saw him sneak off with... Uh, uh, -huh. uh Agent Nine, isn't that a Rhinoc over in those bushes? A uh, Rhinoc? Ooh, let me at him. You want a piece of me, Rhinoc boy? Eat laser punk! Come on now, no fair hiding. Uh, I'm sure Hunter is in good hands. But I mean, I'm sure he will turn up soon. I promise you'll come visit Avalar soon, okay? Now how many times have I told you not to tease that moose? It was Billy's idea! Uh, yeah, yeah! <laughs> Is that true, Billy? <laughs> Hold that thought, Billy. Spyro, great to see ya! Hi, Sheila. I've been looking for Hunter all day. Have you seen him? <laughs> Sorry, Spyro. Hunter made me promise not to tell you where they went. Say? <laughs> you didn't hear anything from me. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. It's a sad sight, Sparks. Another noble warrior falls victim to the plague of love. Just look away. Well, I guess we'll have to find the rest of the eggs by ourselves. Come on, Spyro. Take a little break. Let's watch the show.
before you kicked the sorceress's big, fat, ugly butt, she built a factory to make robotic bugs to fight sparks. But I don't think they're any match for him.
That last egg must have had some extra magic because it gave Sparks two new abilities. Now he can break open treasure chests and using the atlas, he can warp you to any level. Just select the level you want and press the square button. Don't worry, Spyro, I won't be needing any more of your money. Now, now, don't look so surprised. I found one of the dragon eggs, and I'm going to sell it for a fortune back in Avalar. Uh, uh-oh, uh, why are you looking at me like that? I, uh, uh, I, I've got to be going now. Uh, toodles! <laughs> Drat! Double drat! Drat, 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 drat! Oh, I never knew dragons were so fast. That's it, I give up. I'm retiring to Spooky Swamp to become a haiku poet. <laughs> You finally made it, Spyro. Hunter was a little worried about you when you went off to fight the sorceress, but I always knew you'd beat her. This place is where the sorceress kept all her treasure. But after she was defeated, a bunch of thieves came and stole it. If you can catch the thieves, you're more than welcome to keep the treasure. Oh, by the way, Hunter is around here somewhere. He's been tinkering with one of his new toys all day and he wants to show it off. You should go see him. I hope the rest of the dragons will come back here someday.
Hi, Spyro. Did you see Bianca? She was really worried about you when you went off to fight the sorceress. It was pretty funny. She tries to play it cool, but she was scared stiff until you came back safe. I just finished fixing up an old submarine. Why don't you try taking it for a spin? Great! Hop aboard! Check it out! This is the world's fastest turbo snowboard course! The local champions are the Sasquatch Six, a gang of yetis on souped-up snow discs. I bet that you could outrace the lot of them. If you win, we get a huge pile of treasure. If you lose, I have to slick down the whole course with my tongue! So, ready to race? Right on! Just don't lose, or my tongue's gonna be a popsicle.
like a bunch of frostbitten, flat-footed, molasses-eating, lead-pants-wearing, cross-eyed glacier trolls riding slabs of plywood with sandpaper on the bottom. And we want some shiny stuff, too. I don't know how she did it, Spyro, but the sorceress must have survived that last battle. She's been waiting here all this time, saving up her magic to destroy you. Your best chance to defeat her is to borrow my flying saucer. I've cast some spells on it to give it extra firepower and unlimited flying time, but the rest is going to be up to you. You've come this far, Spyro. I know you can beat her.
Thank you.